to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Satan is fighting many people to you. That's why the attack looks fierce. If it was about you, he would not waste his time on you. He looked at you, madam, and he saw an evangelist. He looked at you and he saw a prophet. He looked at you and he saw a kingdom financier. And he said, instead of attacking one million people, let's stop this woman from having a child. Let's stop this one from going forward. Hallelujah. Is someone learning now? This is giving us spiritual intelligence as believers so that we can interpret things from the lens of the spirit, from the lens of prophecy, from the lens of destiny. Now you can rejoice in the office and they may not know why. This woman who has been insulted by everybody, why is it that the more they insult you, the more you rejoice? Tell them I came to House on the Rock and I heard a word by the spirit that corrected my understanding. Number one, that storms happen to all men and storms are very Verification systems that you are really going to the other side. If you did not intend to grow, you will not meet with the challenges. Even Jesus, Jesus and his presence in the boat did not stop the manifestation of the storm. It only stopped the dominion of the storm on the journey. The next thing that I, that I taught you that you need to have at heart is the mind of Christ. There is a mentality that makes men rest in the midst of storms. Can I tell you this? The Bible says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. It says, For thou art with me. That divine presence should be a consolation. Someone declare, say, You are with me. Thou art with me. Thou art with me in the midst of the storm. And then when Jesus woke up, the Bible says, he rebuked the wind and the storm was calm. So the first way we address storms is to rebuke the wind. Next time, go to your shop, go to your mall, Go to your business, go to your house. You come back and you see your children bringing reports that are not consistent with the word of God. Just kicking and venting anger on the children will not solve the problem. Always remember, Jesus has taught you what to do with storms. It is not the result. It is not the school. It is not the dull child. Remember, Satan does not attack for nothing. In that child is CEO. In that child is the employment of 5,000 people. Don't blame the innocent child and bring ill-spoken ill words over him. You are a failure, you are dull. No! Satan does not attack failures. If you were a Satan, you will not attack failures. That's a waste of time. The Bible says he knows his time is short. So if Satan can handpick people, out of seven billion people when he listed people you were there you need to verify what parameter he used and i've already told you john 10 10 that he only comes when he finds out there is something worth stealing something worth killing and something worth destroying so you can go back and dance in the midst of storms and they ask you why you say number one the storm has verified that i am valuable number two the storm has verified that in me there are nations it is better to forget your paddle than to forget jesus in the boat because if it is to calm storms 
you don't need skills you need jesus you need skills to move but there are times that your skills cannot continue the journey you will need jesus there are times that whatever knowledge you have may not be able to continue with you it is jesus and then remember that in your praise and your rest there is prophecy that you will arrive oh powerful scripture and they and they arrived and they arrived even if it's after 10 years they arrived apostle have not gotten admission for the past five ten years i bring you a word of hope while you are talking about admission prophecy is already saying you arrived apostle as i'm speaking right now there is no place for me to stay i mean this church just laughing but the lord is waiting for me at home right about now i may not know what storms you will face but i can tell you this if jesus is in the boat rejoice look up let me teach you something one plus one mathematically is two is that true one plus one demonically is anything less than two because satan does not add one plus one plus satan cannot be two even if it's not zero it cannot be two because satan does not add one plus one plus jesus is equal to the answer he puts there the moment you add jesus to the equation the answer is no longer scientific the answer is not longer economic the answer is is no longer mathematics it is the answer he puts there so he can take 10 years of delay plus two years of being raised by a single mom plus 15 years of unemployment plus jesus and he can put one year of victory that is equal to 30 years five years of a wayward life plus two years of limited understanding in church plus a job that may not give you so much plus your passion and fire for god then plus jesus and you will be surprised to see what the answer will be the answer will be the destiny of someone who started working hard from four years and you say this is not fair and he says jesus not, does not only add he can supplement anything plus jesus is the answer he puts there let me tell you something we're wrapping up there is a very interesting parable i wish i had the time to deal with in scripture it was a parable about employment the bible says a vine owner was drawing people to get into his field have you read that that parable and he negotiated for a denary with certain people early in the morning is that true so their basis for going to the field was not because they love the vine owner it was because they negotiated for a denary he took them to the field later on he saw some others and said why sittest thou idle they said no man employ us and he said go they didn't negotiate they went because of love and honor to the man even at the 11th hour one hour to the close of work he still met another he said go at the end of it he paid those who came because they wanted payment then those who came because they believed him he said now let me decide how to pay you paid them the same amount and they said no there is injustice here and jesus said what is the injustice i know you came from a lineage of millionaires i know you came from a lineage of those who bless you and maybe that may be your motivation for loving jesus it was not really because you loved him it was because there was an opportunity you were told that if you stay with him he can bless you oh dear spiritual employee you go to the vineyard your dinner is coming but then there are others who said lord if you can make any sense out of this life my background has cheated me already and he said also come and join and when it is time for pay
payment when he's allocating graces and possibilities he can bring the grace of one oh dear i'm saying this prophetically because there are people after this conference you will stand side by side with those who started being diligent even before you were born again and they will wonder and say but this is not fair and you will tell them the problem is not me the problem is the one who carried me along in his boat jesus christ being in your boat can make the difference and they arrived and they arrived and they arrived and he met the man at gadara rebuked the spirit out of that man and the man said, I want to follow you back. He said, no, I came because of you. Now that I'm done with you, I can release you to live out your assignment now. Listen to me. Victory over storms has a purpose to it. The purpose is that Jesus be revealed and that Jesus be glorified. When the storms that have attempted to impede your progress are over, let it not be that when you have built houses and cars and everything, you say, my power and the might of my hand has given me this. He says, but thou shall remember. That means you can forget. I brought a simple message, but a powerful one tonight. Because everybody here under the sound of my voice, if there is no storm before you now, I can tell you it is proof that you have not yet made a decision to go to the other side. But if it is the other side of business, the other side of your spiritual life, the other side of your kingdom exploits, the other side in ministry, then there is a storm that is before you. Here is my advice. Check that Jesus is in the boat before the storm comes. The storm will not respect you. It will only respect Jesus who is in that boat. As you carry your certificate, verify whether Jesus is there. As you carry your track record of business exploits, realize a day will come, dear Peter, where your net may not be able to catch fish. If your net does not catch fish, it is not, it is not laziness. There are times that the fish will not come. You will need Jesus. It is only Jesus who can tell the fish to come. Some of you are in this situation right now. You've exhausted everything you know to do intellectually, spiritually, economically, etc. And you are right now in a confused position, not knowing what to do. Number one, find rest. Storms happen to everybody, even Jesus. Number two, have the mind of Christ. You know that Jesus is in the boat, so find rest, it will not kill you. There is an end. Number three, have the mind of Christ. Superior understanding. Superior understanding that Satan is a master of the sense realm. He will manipulate you into depression, and then you will find out that the challenge every challenge comes in its inflated form it takes rest the rest of faith to deflate it down sometimes you will worry over things that are not as serious as they look and then jesus taught us how to deal with storms that you speak over the wind and say in the name of jesus this wind making my marriage boisterous this wind making my academics boisterous, my job, my business. This wind making Nigeria boisterous. This wind making my political career, my ministerial calling boisterous. Peace, shalom, be still. And the Bible says the wind and even the water obeyed him. And then obtained the staying power to continue until you arrive and when you arrive remember that the arrival has a purpose
don't tithe and begin to celebrate and forget that there is a madman who holds the salvation of 10 cities waiting for could it be that the reason why god wants to prosper you is so that you can meet a child someday pay that child's school fees who will be the owner of a bank tomorrow and employ 5,000 people can i tell you this every time you see the madman in gadara look beyond not being clothed every time you see a madman in gadara they will not come to you as great people they will come to you as people with their filth they will come to you as people who are outcasts they will come needing you it is amazing that on the other side of your success the first person you meet is the destiny sent to you you must have the discernment to not allow the beauty of success be cloud you as a man of god when god grants you an anointing after the storms the attacks and and now you come to a position of power and influence. Do not forget. For every arrival, there is a madman crying. Businessmen, for every arrival, there is a madman crying. He's holding the destiny of 10 cities. Some of you have arrived. And all you are doing at the seashore is a party celebration. And there are madmen crying and saying, is this not why you came? Did he anoint you to just do church? Man of God, now that you have arrived in a measure, what are you doing with that anointing? I am doing ministry. Ministry, I am enjoying myself. Wake up! There is a madman who is waiting for you. There is a young man who you need to lift in ministry who will be strengthened and go and save his family and save other generations. Please hear me. We are wrapping up, but you have to get this lesson. For everyone who arrives, and it's a language we like to use in Nigeria, I have... Let me tell you the next assignment. Look for the madman in Gadara. When you arrive, it's proof that you conquered the storm. So we celebrate you for beating the storm hands down. But realize every time you arrive, your next assignment is to locate the madman in Gadara for the sake of the Gadarenes. Rise up on your feet, please. We're going to pray just three prayer points tonight. Prayer point number one will be that God would grant us the strength to have the resilience to have the stamina and the staying power to continue when the storms of life come i wish i would tell you storms would not, not, not come but i'd be lying to you if you want to get to the throne the pathway is the cross oh joseph if you want to sit with pharaoh be ready to enter the well go to the prison i said it in a teaching somewhere that the prison is where both good and bad people meet every time you see people in the prison be careful because joseph is there too not everybody is a criminal every time you see men on the cross be careful jesus is there too he is just between two thieves he may not be a thief this is already a word for someone don't generalize people. You may see Joseph in the prison, but not everybody got there because of a crime of their own. You may see men hanging on various crosses. Don't generalize. Jesus is dead. He's not dying for himself. He's dying for the world. There are thieves that pay the price for their own foolishness, but there are others who are dying for others. You must have the grace to discern. Are you ready to pray? Prayer point number one. Lord, I obtain grace that as I start this journey to the other side, regardless the storms that come, I will arrive. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart.
In the name of Jesus, I declare, I am determined to go to the other side spiritually. I am determined to go to the other side financially. I am determined to go to the other side in destiny. Regardless the storms that I face, I declare that I intend to arrive. Jesus is with me. Are you praying? Of ten grace. Though I walk through the valley, Lord, I'll feel no evil. By the water, still my my heart will trust in you, Lord. My heart will trust. Someone is drawing strength for the journey tonight. So I walk through the valleys, Lord. I feel no look at me we're wrapping up please lend me your attention everyone following and here someday you will need to move from being a tenant to a landlord it is not prophecy you will have to go to the other side someday you would have to take responsibility and raise those children everybody has another side to your story do not be afraid of making progress to the other side I can tell you one thing for sure. The other side is not a bed of roses. Faith, they say, does not just make things easy. It makes things possible. The assignment of faith is not to make your journey easy. That is the assignment of favor. The assignment of faith is to make your journey possible. Someday, you have to make up your mind that I'm tired of begging and borrowing. Listen, I have to go to the other side financially. It will take courage. Let us go to the other side. Tell your mind, let us go to the other side. Tell your spiritual life, let us go to the other side. A day will have to come, you look at your wife and say, my dear, he called us to ministry. Thank God for the level we are operating now. But there is need to go to the other side. I can't be the one depending on people to give me money all the time. And I keep praying for others to prosper so they tip me. I can't be the man of God sitting in jealousy and pain and watching God use others. It is time to go to the other side. Listen to me. For someone here, this is a prophetic word. You have encompassed this mountain long enough. Stop celebrating mediocrity as a local champion. It's time to stretch to the other side. Can I tell you this? Don't be so emotionally connected. Yesterday is jealous. Yesterday will never allow you to enter into tomorrow. Yesterday is like a jealous personality. You must obtain the unemotional determination to leave yesterday for the sake of tomorrow. Yesterday will want to recycle itself in your life. From one room, one day the Holy Ghost starts telling you, do you not think you should stroll around Abuja and check 
if you can even find three or four plots of land and you want to rebuke it no where will i get the money from all that i have is hundred thousand listen to me god is speaking to you for as long as you are unwilling to sustain the courage to go to the other side for someone you may not have the money but go and find out where the land is after this conference go and stay there and look at it i cannot buy it but my eyes have seen it can i tell you one of the ways that you make god omega is by making him alpha he will never become alpha when he has not become omega start with him and put pressure on his integrity to finish i should go abroad and educate myself but where will the help go to go online and find out what it takes to start just start with jesus and be sure that you will arrive you alone will fail but you and jesus cannot fail are we together i came here to challenge you tonight honestly speaking there are many of us who have compassed this mountain long enough i don't mean to insult you but there are people who need to begin to contend for certain levels of grace you have been in this city for 10 years 15 years watching others come to build watching others come to take risks by faith and you've been giving all kinds of excuses it's time to make up your mind it is better to fail honorably listen there is something called failing forward when a plane is going forward and someone who is at the front seat goes back to use the restroom is the man going behind the plane is moving forward he's in a plane that overall is going forward even though in the plane he is going backward but the plane is too big for him to move it backwards that's how your destiny is go and start the shop what do i need courage you don't need products open it open the shop and start apostle i'm in debt to the millions and the billions how do i come out i can tell you if you think you're going to save your way to go out you are joking listen to me the first way to come out is to invite jesus into the situation you will never come out on your own when you are in trouble don't try to come out bring jesus into the situation there is something about him that cannot let you remain in storms are we together it is time to stretch to the other side and please do not forget whenever you arrive remember there is a madman in gadara that all that journey your financial journey your intellectual journey dear worshiper when you arrive and your songs go to the nation remember there is a madman whose deliverance is tied to your songs do not allow arrival mentality destroy you in this kingdom we do not stop we move from level to level to level to level now before i speak over your life to end tonight i want you to rebuke the storm we have identified the storm but jesus taught us to not forbear with storms no when storms finish their assignments do not let them continue the assignment of a storm is to verify that you were sent the assignment of a storm is to convince you that you are moving when you find that information the storm does not need to remain again there are many of us the storms have stayed beyond their validity period and jesus teaches you what to do that you are about to do now in the next one minute please without distraction in the name of jesus as a priest that you are i like you to begin to rebuke every spirit that is back of any situation challenging your life and destiny believers pray the spirit challenging my spiritual growth challenging my prayer life challenging my world life 
challenging my passion for the house of God challenging prophecy over my destiny I come against you now in the name of Jesus Christ is someone praying the spirit in inhibiting church growth inhibiting growth in my business in the name of Jesus I rebuke you by the God of heaven thus far have you come no further shall you go the spirit fighting the arrival of the anointing upon my life and destiny I come against you in the name of Jesus I come against you by the blood of the Lamb house on the rock pray decree and declare that thou mightest be justified every storm stopping my destiny help us from locating me and lifting me by the spirit every storm challenging my business every storm challenging Nigeria every storm challenging my family are you declaring by the spirit please be still finances hear the word of the Lord ministry hear the word of the Lord business hear the word of the Lord family life hear the word of the Lord peace be still I rebuke every spirit I cast down imaginations every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ I declare by the spirit of the living God please go ahead and pray we're wrapping up pray 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 atmosphere ship now chains be broke pray now holy spirit move now heaven open heaven open command that atmosphere shift in the name of Jesus atmosphere of depression atmosphere of failure atmosphere of conflict atmosphere of violence atmosphere of poverty i rebuke you in the name of jesus house on the road declare declare one more time prophesy over your destiny Believers, please hear me. Let me challenge you. I'd like you to use this entire period of this conference as a moment of spiritual emphasis. Some of you need to go home and lock your gate and start walking like the priest that you are around your house. And if they ask you, What are you doing? tell them the storm has stayed beyond its limit. The storm has stayed beyond its limit and you begin to rebuke lay your hands upon your documents when you go back home in the name of Jesus I end this season of pain it's time to arrive not just to move declare your arrival prophesy by the spirit hallelujah hallelujah You have prayed but hear me the disciples were too weak to rebuke the storm by themselves but they were also not too proud to tell jesus help us there are certain times you may not have the level of spiritual intelligence nor the level of engracing to challenge the storms that stand before you you must be quick to admit it and quickly call jesus and can I tell you this? The way Jesus walks is to empower men. Go to them that sell and buy. There are those that sell. This is why he gave in the church 
apostles and prophets, evangelists and pastors and teachers for the maturing of the saints. That means everything that makes for the saints to rise to their full prophetic potential is invested in it. Believe me when I tell you there are times you can pray, you can stretch, you can do everything to know to do. Doctors have taught us this. Military people have taught us this. There are times that a doctor can tell you, I am a doctor. There is DR or MD behind or in front of my name. But I admit that this situation is beyond my expertise. Allow the consultants to come. And they do not feel bad allowing the consultants to come. And you can be surprised that a very delicate and complicated surgery, you may see a man who does not have the form, but he's still consultant. I have can't send carpenters to judge those horns. Carpenters. I have seen a few professionals and consultants and many times they don't have any form. They, they can come and you, you see them, you can almost doubt. You don't know their consultants when they are standing. You know their consultants in the surgery room. And with, with digital precision, they would carry out a very delicate and complicated procedure and come out after a few hours and say it is done. This is how it is in the body of Christ. It is not to worship men, but let me tell you sincerely by God, there are people who by the privilege of the election of grace, they have been vested with certain possibilities. Every time you find out that you've exhausted your creativity around a storm, don't die in pride. Humble yourself. Let your defeat in pride not misrepresent Jesus. He can still calm storms if you call him. Hallelujah. I believe that the servants of God here, I'm standing in faith and agreement with them to speak right now. Because there are many of us, you've done, you've prayed, you've fasted, you've done what you know to do. The situation does not seem to listen to you. But he sent us in his name to speak over that situation. And so I want you tonight to shout a loud amen as I speak and declare just one minute and we're done i just want to speak over your life prophecy is powerful it says they are taken for a prey and none see it restore in the name of jesus I, I stand joining faith with the father and the priest over this commission and the angel over this house and the servants of god here we connect our spirits and in the name that is above all names right now I decree and I declare everyone here whose journey has been impeded by a storm I speak to that storm this night not tomorrow this night come to an end now come to an end now come to an end now Come to an end now. Come to an end now. Every force that is stopping your advancement or that of your children, maybe financially, ministerially, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I speak to that spirit and I speak to that storm. Release God's people now. And I decree and declare over your life. Listen to me. Immediately the storm was calm. Time was no longer a factor. The Bible just said they arrived. How long it took after the storm. I told you when Jesus comes in the calculation changes. For some of you, God told you certain things in January. And as it is now, it is October. And you are saying by the logic of men when can i build this business i tell you when jesus is introduced you'll be surprised let me speak to you by the spirit of grace in a matter of weeks for some of you may the prophecy that you had right from january come to pass 
hear me for some of you as you go home right now your prophecy will run faster than you and wait for you at home as a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ there are many of you by the time you are coming here tomorrow morning I decree and declare over your life it will be tears of joy you will be coming here with can I tell you this I would not do this except God put it in my heart I want to declare over your finances this night by the spirit I'm just responding to what God is putting in my heart you will marvel and wonder I am telling you this by the God of heaven do not be like the man in Samaria who said even if God will open the windows of heaven listen there is a prophetic dimension to wealth in this kingdom we are not just business people there is a government above us in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands over everyone here especially those who have gone through all kinds of financial turmoils I stand by the God of heaven between now and tomorrow that your faith can receive it I declare return with strange testimonies return with strange testimonies supernatural connection to destiny help us in the name of Jesus Christ dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline 